Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you some footage that I got last year. Uh, this is footage that I've never really showed you guys, and I don't know why. I went to Analau, I spent a couple of amazing weeks in Analau, Philippines, which is known as one of the macro capitals of the world. Um, and I found this hilarious footage of a frogfish getting slapped by some other fish. So I want to show you that, and I'll probably show you some other clips that I got on the same dive. Because this is, you know, obviously it was from last year, but it's awesome footage that I've never shown anyone. So, you guys should see it. So with that being said, let's get into it. Hmm? Critter Hunter. Here's a little dude that normally doesn't let me film him. Usually, when I get close, he darts off and goes straight down into the sand and hides. I'm not even sure what this species is, so if anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. This is one of the most hilarious things I've seen. I didn't even know that these guys did that. I was told later this is called a sea apple, but it's some kind of sea cucumber. And he looks like he's grabbing stuff out of the water with his hands and then licking his fingers just like a human would. It's hilarious. So every once in a while I like to just film something that I see a lot of that I kind of ignore uh, normally. Maybe it's during a lull where I'm not seeing a lot or maybe I just feel like filming something but normally the footage comes out pretty good like the sea urchin. And this red sea urchin was even more beautiful and with the close up lens it was pretty cool looking stuff you don't normally see. This little baby Toby was cute, or at least I think he's a Toby. According to my book, he might be a Saddleback Toby, but you guys let me know. This guy was not very cute at all. Actually, well, he's kind of so ugly he's cute. I think it's a rockfish. My guide always wonders why I'm always fascinated with clams. But these giant clams are always super colorful. It's not just cool fish species and critters here in Antelope. There's a lot of cool coral too. Like these sponges. I can't name all these soft corals, but I'm always fascinated when I see them. And I like to film them sometimes. Some of them are really beautiful. This one I'm always fascinated with because you can see them opening and shutting constantly. I assume to grab plankton, but who knows. I know they're called uh, pulsing xenia. This of course is a feathered sea star and once in a while you can see them f swimming around. So this is a weird shot. I was trying to film this awesome looking coral. The clicking sound you hear is actually my housing telling me that there's a leak. I figured out later that the aftermarket batteries I use were overheating the camera and causing fog on the sensor and on the lens. And I was freaking out a little bit. Here's another cool soft coral and this time he's hiding a little porcelain crab underneath. You sure not making it easy for me to film though. But it is one of my favorite crabs. Of course there's plenty of hard coral like staghorn. And sometimes fields of it. And of course, everybody's favorite, the anemones. 
But what's fascinating about anemones in Anilau and in Philippines is how many colors and varieties and shapes there are. Lots of species. So there's a lot of different lionfish species in the Philippines. And anytime I film a lionfish, uh, either on YouTube or Instagram, somebody leaves me a comment saying that I need to kill them because they're invasive. Well, that's only in the Caribbean. They're not invasive in Southeast Asia. They're part of the ecosystem and they're really beautiful. I got a ton of footage in Anilau of these nudibranchs and a lot of different species of them. But I'm not gonna show too many nudies on this video because I got so many that I wanna make it my own separate video just for them. And of course, there's the standard giant cuttlefish floating around. I normally ignore turtles because I got so much footage of them. But this guy kept following me everywhere. So I put my camera above him and just followed him to see what he was seeing. I'm pretty sure this is a leaf scorpion fish. I could be wrong on the exact name, but whatever he is, this guy was in a horrible place for filming. Normally I want to be level to him and head on or side but he was in a really bad spot and I really wanted to film him because I don't see them all the time and I finally got a little better angle he kind of moved and I could get in there without touching any coral or reef around him and it's still not a great shot but you get the idea of what they look like now these razorfish are my mortal enemy. I always call them, they're one of my nemesis fish for filming. They're so interesting looking, but anytime I turn on the lights or the camera, they make it impossible to film. They're always just too far away. They get in little clumps like this and they just keep going right out of range. And it's super annoying because they're so cool looking that I really want to get a close up shot of them. But they're just too shy and they just keep moving away. One day I'm gonna get an awesome shot for you guys and it'll be much better than this. Here's yet another frogfish in Philippines. Just like Dawin where I'm based, Anila has hundreds of frogs everywhere every dive site you're going to see at least one frogfish and maybe multiple species of them this guy was super small and super cute so i kind of spent too much time with him Alright guys, before I show you the next clip, which is hilarious, uh, I want to make sure you have subscribed, because it is free to subscribe, but it'll help my channel a lot. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I got videos like this coming out every two days for the rest of the year. So, thank you guys for the support. So this next clip is the frogfish that I wanted to show you. And this was at the end of a dive and I was kind of over frogfish. There's just so many. I wanted to film something a little more rare. But I have battery left, I have lights left. I just want to film something at the end of a dive while we're on a safety stop. So I kind of just set up the tripod on this guy and kind of left it, not really paying attention. But in this next clip, I looked down and I noticed that these little damselfish were coming out and slapping him in the face. It was hilarious. If you listen close, you can even hear me laughing underwater.
So I was told later that they were trying to shoo him away from their eggs. Maybe they had a den nearby. Um, but it was the cutest thing I ever saw. It's cool to find unique species. But it's also fun to see unique behaviors underwater as well. 